don't know why it itches so bad. Yikes. Hey guys, it's Asia here. If you're new to my channel, if you're not new to my channel, welcome back. We are going to be doing this super cute, super easy. I think I feel like I feel like all of my looks are super easy. So, yeah, just you know, let's do some makeup together. Before we get into the video, though, as usual, make sure you like and subscribe to see more videos. Skin prep, I forgot to record the skin prep, but for skin prep, it was my usual. I double cleansed my face in the shower, and then I went in with my, um, my Pixi, um, the Pixi, the glow tonic I went in with pixies glow tonic except I used the little like to go pads went in with my hyaluronic um, hyaluronic yeah oh it has hyaluronic acid in it okay great the adaptogen uh, mist from youth to the people then I went in with my hydro grip primer from milk makeup just to prime my skin and get it ready for the rest of what I was gonna do to it uh, as I look at this look it feels very monochromatic I really 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 like it I wanted something simple today because I'm going to the boutique the pixie boutique in LA and yeah anyways I'm blabbering so I am going to leave you guys but as usual I will put description but bleh. I will put timestamps in the description box so that you guys can hop to whatever part of the video it is that you want to see. First, I start off with outlining my brows. I do my eyes, I finish up my brows, I go into my face, and then I show you guys the finished look. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to let you see the makeup application portion. Hey, hey guys. So let's get started doing this makeup today and see if there's anywhere wherein we do this makeup we basically meaning me but you guys are watching so it's like we you know where we can adjust how I did it and I just kind of break down for you guys what exactly it was that I did and why why I did it what I was thinking behind it I'm using the hydro grip primer here I guess that's the only part of the skincare that I actually recorded but I don't know primer is more makeup than skincare so I guess I can't really say it's part of skin prep so yeah but very soon after that, we're gonna move on to the eyes. For some reason, my eyes were doing this really weird thing where it was like the creases were getting stuck together. I don't know what was up with that. It was not the primer, although this is a really good primer and it's very sticky, which tells me it's gonna hold my uh, my makeup really well. So I, I love the primer, but my eyes were just being kind of funky today. I don't know what it was, but I am still and probably will always use the Il Maquillage Concealer to carve out my brows. I outline my brows first. I've explained it in other videos, but again, it's just because I like to complete my eye look before I do my face. I do my eyes first before I do my face because I never know if the palette that I'm going to be using is going to have fallout. And I just don't want to have fallout on a perfectly sculpted face so I do my eyes first it's my preference everybody's different there's no right or wrong way and um, I bring the concealer down onto my lid space because then it works for me as a primer as well so I don't have to worry about it I really like the consistency of this concealer I've said it once I'll say it a million and one times over as far as me using it for like outlining my eyebrows and priming my lids it's a perfect concealer I, I just love it for that purpose this eyeshadow palette hmm <laughs> I love pixie I love pixie pixie knows how much I love 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 pixie I went in and used this I can't even remember which color out of the palette it was it was it's probably the darkest almost the darkest shade in the palette and it looks super light on my skin tone. I really do believe that Pixie is more focused on their lighter shades and lighter skin tones than they are the darker ones. So I had a little bit of trouble using this palette because of the color. So what you didn't see is me reach for my ColourPop eyeshadow palette. It was the ColourPop Perception palette. And I chose a color similar to the color that I just used from Pixie, but that was a little bit deeper. The colors are very similar. And I wanted to use that to just deepen the crease and the outer edge of my eye before I went in with 
the, another color from the Pixie palette. Since I was going to the boutique, I really wanted to focus on using Pixie products. Uh, that's one of the things that we like to do just to be able to showcase what the palette can do. So I'm not saying that the palette cannot be used on darker skin tones. It's just, it really is not all, it really is all in how you work with it. The palette is a good palette. I just found some inconsistencies with it. Like for um, this eye, for example, you can see that I'm applying the color on and I applied it dry and you can see that it looks a little bit patchy. It's not the color is not consistent all the way through and it should be especially because it's kind of being laid on top of a primer it's being laid on top of another eyeshadow color the colors blend well together but for some reason that color has a bit of shim okay hold on for some reason that color looks patchy now it all of the colors in this palette have a bit of shimmer to it i really wish that pixie would come out with just matte eyeshadows that will work for brown skin but you know we'll see what they have coming up in the future i fixed the problem though by spraying my brush and applying the color to my eyes brows i just want to shout out benefit and ipsy because they sent over a beautiful package of brow products you guys know from previous videos that i had literally just ran out of my goof proof brow and since this product is brand new out of the case it is sharp it just made for like perfect application i say it all the time that i think little like elves are inside of the benefit labs and they are sculpting products that just make people like me who have no brows seem like we have brows and when you see me in person even i mean when you see it in the rest of the video you'll see this product always makes it look as though what i just put onto my brows are mine they're not the product is waterproof. It does last for, well, it says it lasts for 24 hours. I've not had to try that out because I ain't staying awake for 24 hours. Y'all tripping. Gimme Brow is almost like a fiber gel that holds my brows in place. I like a clean, messy brow look, which I know it doesn't seem like that makes sense, but I don't want the top edge of my brows to look sculpted to perfection, which is why I don't draw out on the top or clean up the top. I just want them to kind of do whatever and I feel like that's what makes them look super natural I wanted to apply a light layer of mascara to my lashes I always apply a layer on the top and the bottom of my lashes but I'm doing a light layer because I'm going to be applying eyelashes to my eyes I haven't worn lashes in quite a while because I've just been enjoying my natural eyelashes but I'm using the Ardell Wispies they're just very a very natural lash and when applied the right way they just look like they look like your lashes but better the disrespect <laughs> so i went ahead and applied these lashes to both of my eyes and yeah they just looked really pretty i felt like it complemented this look a whole lot I could have just put the one color on my eye but really when you use multiple colors and blend them blend them together it really gives depth and dimension to the eyeshadow look that you're doing as opposed to it just being one eye or one color that's placed on the eye okay so ooh, look 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 all right so I'm working smarter not harder because I applied a very small strip of the Fenty contour on my cheek area I've been going sans foundation for quite some time now I do like to contour my nose what y'all didn't see is Jonathan walked into my shot he was very immodest so I had to cut that out which made me start laughing <laughs> But I really like that brush that I was using. It's a Sonia Kashuk brush. You can get it from any Target store. Her brushes are so good and I love using them for different things. You'll see me use them in almost all of my videos. This Milk Makeup Flex highlighter is just the bomb highlighter. Like I love it. I use it all the time. I have my favorites in makeup. Don't judge me. I will say it all the time too though. Brown girls get with the lighter blushes the blush from covergirl i laid down first as a lighter kind of base blush and then i applied the maybelline blush on top of that which is a little bit of a deeper pink and set that whenever you're using powders on your face you want to make sure that you set it because it melds the the makeup to your face it also helps to melt the makeup together so that it doesn't look like you don't look like a powdery mess right so anytime you use powder set it with a setting spray 
I'm going in now with the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. I literally just put, look at that, little, little couple of droplets underneath my eye, blend it out, kind of wakes up my face, makes me look more alive than I looked when I first started. Of course, I'm gonna set that with uh, a powder, the Maybelline Fit Me powder underneath the eye, just very easy. And then after I apply that under my eyes, I do wanna go out and make sure the rest of my face is blended and then set it once more with the Urban Decay setting spray, which is my favorite. It's an all-nighter setting spray. And that's the finished look. Ooh, she thinks she's so cute, y'all. Ooh, look at that. Mm, put some earrings in. I got that big hair. I'm cute. And here's my face. I mean, you guys saw it already, so it's not like you're surprised to see it. I mean, this is like super, I don't know. I feel like the big hair is like, doing it for me today like I feel very like like ooh, like I feel unstoppable but that might change when I get out into the car and when my hair falls a little more and I look at it and I go what was I thinking I don't know you guys like this hairstyle <laughs> and these cute little um, bobby pins that are arrows I got from uh, Walmart they were like five dollars I can't get it out now. Oh well, it'll it'll just stay there then. They were like five dollars for a pack of four, and I just feel like they are very me. Jonathan saw it and was like, "Yeah, that's you. That looks like something you would wear." So I was like, "I gotta get it. Gotta get it." Shush. Got it. He's not. He's not listening. No, shush. And oh, the lips. My lips are milk are from milk makeup it's their lip and cheek actually this is like an all over like face product lashes are ardell i'm gonna put everything in the description box and i will see you guys in the next video make sure you like and subscribe i'm gonna go grab some coffee and i will see you guys on snapchat yeah because i'm not really on instagram as much anymore okay bye guys <laughs>